Let's start with the review of the first board in the fifth round of the London Open Go Congress. Here, Black decided to play some unusual move. Now Black played this attachment. Normally there are like many other Joseki possible to play something like this, something like this, something here. This move is not so popular. White answered quite simply, just extension. Then black played this nice shape in the corner. White played this two space extension. White should feel generally quite comfortable. Here, like we can also compare the situation to a little bit more popular old Joseki. So after this move, there also used to be some kind of Joseki like this. This one. Normally, black doesn't play here anymore, this attachment. Instead, usually black chooses to play simple slide to be a little bit faster and go towards the center. So this move is not so popular nowadays. Normally it's considered a little bit better for white. In the game, white had a stone in this spot. But is there a big difference between having this white stone in this spot here or in this spot here? Anyway, there is Nyai if the stone is in this spot. Then in the future, if black plays the Nuki, if white will play something like this to attack this black's group, black will be able to answer in the corner. If white plays something like this, black will be able to play here, so generally black is alive, black doesn't need to play there. In the game, it's a bit similar, the situation. If white plays in this spot, and now black plays Tanuki, if white plays something like this, black is able to slide, and if white plays something like this, black is able to play in the corner. Black should be alive with this group. Normally, black should just Tanuki. And in this position, I think it's possible to play for both players. Okay, I would prefer white, but I think it's, it's okay anyway. But now black should not answer here. This is just Miai. If white plays here, black will play here. If white plays somewhere here, black will play in the corner. Of course, white will not play here now. But yeah, this move is just too slow. So I would recommend to play anywhere on the board, but not in this area. But this was the game. Black played here, and now white played here. Tanuki. Yeah, so we get... We have the match being played normally. Here some Joseki. White played in this spot. Yeah, then black played this peep. White played the move from the match played between Kje and Alphago. Some kind of Joseki follow up. Uh, and later black played Tanuki. And this is not so usual. I think it looks quite strange. Now this black stone doesn't make much sense. It just helps white, this exchange. I don't really understand why black played like this and then Tanuki. What about just playing Tanuki in this case, or if black doesn't want to play like this, black can also play something more simple. For example, here, later black will be able to make this exchange anyway. In the game, black played this exchange, and then Tanuki, so white got this own shape a little bit stronger. Uh, here, maybe just to remind, there is some kind of Joseki follow-up. If black decides to play here, then white plays this jump. Then if black decides to play something here, for white, it's not so easy to resist in this position. And that's why white plays some kind of exchanges to ask black what black would prefer to focus on. So if black will play here and then black will play like this to try to make it big, then white can play here because white knows that this is going to be white center in the future. So black cannot really break through. Here black got of course much better shape on the top because white played these two very bad exchanges generally which strengthen black a lot. But on the other hand, these black stones look not so good because white will have the, the center move, so white will be able to resist. And if black decides to play from the other side, something like this, then white might play this kind of exchange and then white can simply connect. Even though black will be able to escape, white made this black shape on the top looking yeah, not so good. So later it might be possible for white to attack this other group from black. This is still actually attackable, but now it's Black's turn, so Black can try to yeah, escape, for example, playing something like this, or from the other side, something like this. So Black will be able to break through, then White will be able to attack this other Black's group here on the top. So this is usually considered as a good for White position, and because of this, usually Black plays anyway here, and then White plays something like this. But in the game, Black played somewhere else, so now White protected the shape, and Black continued. Then white played here somewhere on the top, make this own group a little bit stronger. And black played this exchange. Is this exchange necessary for black? Normally black's shape now is pretty solid, it's pretty strong. Uh, I think it's not necessary to play this exchange because white anyway isn't going to play here. It's not going to be played here by white. It's just 
too small. Still, white cannot really attack black. White gets several points in the corner. And if black makes this exchange, now white is here a bit stronger on the right side. So there are less agi for black there. Could be possible to play here. Now if black plays here, white can try to resist to still get a little bit more points there. But maybe if black would have some possible continuation so that black will be able to get some nice black cuts, then for white it might not be possible to play this way. And if white decides to play from the other side, then black is able to take more points. Everything will be center here. And if black plays only this exchange, then there is no more center. So if just looking on territory, this cut, if white will answer here, is more interesting for black. But anyway, I would recommend not to play here at all. Finish. Because after this kind of exchange, white is stronger. So there are less center, less options for black. Perhaps black would think about playing something like this, because later there is a bigger deal if black cuts. But if white already has a stone in this spot, then it's not that big. Now black play it elsewhere. After this exchange, we get the game. Uh, now black started to play some invasions, some strange things happen, but this attachment is quite normal. But normally if white plays from the top, then I would recommend simply to extend. Usually white plays here on the third line, and then black can try to escape. Black destroys some part of white's territory or some potential territory, but white is all the time on the top. So white is able to attack this black stone, so white is going to get some kind of a wall. This is what usually happens. In the game, however, black played a little bit further, so now suddenly white was able to connect. I think this is a little bit too much for white. What if black simply cuts? Will white answer? And then black can, you can start with this one. So if white plays here, black can cut. White needs to connect, so black is able to play something like this. If white kills the stone, now black is able to even make this exchange, because white is not going to capture, because like this black will connect everything. So white would need to play this way, and then Suddenly, black kills these two white stones, black gets here territory, and white doesn't have so much territory. And even this one is going to be sent in the future for black, so white doesn't really have so many points. White is strong, yes, but it's impossible to really use this strength, because there are already fixed kind of situations there. And here black got really a lot of territory on the bottom, and white doesn't have territory there. I think this move is a little bit too much. And if after cut, white plays anywhere else, and black is able to capture the stone, then I think it's just good for black. So here I'm thinking, maybe instead of this move, it would be possible to play this one, a shape. It looks like white has less points, but uh, white's shape is much stronger. So if black plays somewhere here, white can resist. Now it's not possible to cut in the same way how it was played in the previous situation. If black tries to play something similar, for example something like this, yeah, white can connect. If black plays here, white can even here so black cannot cut because white will kill black first so this looks more solid even though it looks like there is one point difference and a liberty not taken away from black stones still i think it's more interesting for white would be to play here because of this possibility of cut but black didn't play there black played in the center so white was able to protect on shape by playing here now black cannot make these exchanges because later there is this weakness in the game, black played this attachment. This is a usual approach. Like normally, if there are some stones from one player yeah, somewhere on the third line, if there are two, two space extensions, this is a common approach, this attachment. This is a common approach, very popular. Normally, if you don't know where to approach, this should be almost always fine because it lowers the opponent. So now it doesn't matter where black answers, uh, something like this. Black is already lower. White gets an extra stone in center, somewhere in the center. And still there are some weaknesses, still it's possible to get another center moves later. Also, if black would play a little bit more severe, some Hane, then white is able to cut black and also do some problems for black there. In general, white should have quite solid shape. Black is going to survive most likely on the top, black is going to keep everything connected, but white is going to have some extra strong stones in the center. This was the game. Uh, here white played from this side, so black made also these several exchanges. And now I think black should just not continue there. I'm also wondering if this exchange still makes sense. Black already made white low, so maybe this A, B, C, D, maybe it's already not so necessary for black. Still, it's very unlikely that uh, white would play in any move there, like the C for example. 
it would look quite slow for white. So I think all this exchange A, B, C, D is already not so necessary for black, but black doesn't lose territory yet. But the next exchange, what black play it, this one, this is already quite huge loss. Here black loses a lot in this exchange, because here black has stones, now suddenly white can jump, black cannot kill this white stone, white gets just more points. Even though black gets the center, even though this is center how it was played in the game, but still this exchange is just, is just too much. When white is able to kill the stone, have their several points extra. I think maybe in the future, if it's really necessary for black to play this move, to cut somehow, if there would be some possibility of cutting somewhere here, then maybe possible to play. But for now, no. Yeah, so after these exchanges, uh, black played here a move to protect the lower side. And now white played on the right to get their points. Black played Kema, so that later there could be maybe some weaknesses in white shape, somewhere here and somewhere here too. Then white played this exchange and then white played in the corner. I don't really understand why did white play this exchange if anyway white wanted to play somewhere else. I think it's also not so necessary for white. Like this, black has this extra move. Without this exchange, if white is anyway going to sacrifice, maybe it would be possible just to play here and later thinking about playing this move if already white would like to, to have it there. But if white just plays the same what white played in the game but without that exchange, uh, still in the future white might consider playing from this side if white would think about trying to survive here on the bottom. It could be interesting if white could play from the other side, like maybe something like this. Then maybe this exchange could help white, but in the game I didn't really see how it does. But after this move, this is generally center for white, so I think black should just answer so that black keeps their points. But black played Tenuki, which was a surprise to me. After this, white simply cut and black let white take this stone. It's pretty big because white gets here territory and black doesn't have their territory. It's really very big corner, so I think black should answer in this case. Even though black captures the stone and black gets a strong shape in the center, still, I think it's not so big ca capturing the stone in this position because white has entrance towards the center anyway. White is able to enter like this and like this. Also, white has still some stones in this spot. It doesn't really harm white much. So instead, I would recommend to play in this lower right corner so that white cannot take their lowest points. Yeah, and now black played Kema to try to make this center a little bit bigger. And now white played some exchanges like this and then white played in the center. Is it necessary for white to play these exchanges? From one point of view, if black will have here some kind of a wall, then this exchange, which is here, looks nice because black has less points. However, black doesn't have these stones there in this uh, spot where are squares. Yet, if white plays this exchange, this A, B, C, D, White gives black extra help. Now black is stronger in the center. It's easier for black to fight. It's not good timing to play this exchange, A, B, C, D. Instead, I would recommend to play this what white played in the game, but without this exchange, so that later white would be able to have more space to do their some problems for black. Let's say white play the same move. Black will not play here, right? Like this, now white can play somewhere here and white destroys more points from black. And if black would play somewhere else, something like this, then white can play this exchange. Still, maybe not even now, maybe even making another exchange, something like this, and now playing this exchange so that black will come back. Now, maybe it could make more sense, but still I think it's just too small, even for now. I would consider black just, just ignoring it because it's just too small. The black already got two stones, maybe it's just not big enough for black to answer. Playing here now, I think it just strengthens the opponent. White played this move. Black started to take points in the corner. Later, white played this exchange. So white gets some extra help in case black would try to attack white here. And if black played from the other side, if black played something like this, then white would be able to do some problems for black with these three stones. Maybe even kill something there. And then white played here to destroy the center. Black played here some exchanges, these exchanges and then cut. These exchanges don't look so nice to me, because black doesn't really have any continuation. Where are white's Aji? Black played some stones there, black doesn't have points, difficult to destroy any Aji, and it's white's turn, white still should be able to survive without any problems in the center. Maybe instead of this move, I'm wondering, maybe it would be possible to play like something from the other side, so that if white escapes, maybe black could get several points in this part of the board. Yeah, to play something like this, to try to cut, if white comes back, then maybe something like this. It's difficult to get there any points 
So maybe instead of playing there at all, it would be possible just to play some end game, maybe just somewhere here. In the game, black played this exchange and later black played in that area. However, now if we are looking on this shape, when white already has a stone in this spot and white is separated, maybe it would be interesting for black to play some exchange. Because after these moves, white played here a very interesting sequence so that black didn't have any points in this spot. And it's almost in center. White got much stronger. Later, when black played somewhere else, white was able to play here in center and take away some points from black. So it was really pretty big for white to play something like this. Black's group doesn't have two eyes yet, so if white cuts this group later, if black lets white cut, could be also not so small. So black protected and then suddenly white got a very nice shape. Maybe it would be interesting for black to play this kind of exchange. Just making this exchange and now playing this what black played in the game. Just having this exchange first. Black is not going to kill their white or play some strange moves like this. I think anyway, black is not going to, to play anywhere there. Also because yeah, black's group has weaknesses too. So if black plays this exchange, now white doesn't have opportunity to play this what white, white played earlier and black has some extra points. So here black might have some points and in the game when black played elsewhere now black didn't have these points even white had some points and later some nice center for white as well. I think it could be possible for black just to play this exchange first and later coming back in the corner. And there's actually one more thing in that corner that normally there are two ways of playing there in this corner. One way is to play just this exchange. This exchange is played so that black wants to play Tanuki, but white cannot get there so much. So if black didn't play this exchange and later black played elsewhere, when white captures after this move, maybe white will decide to capture as well, so this move is not going to be center for black. Or if black plays here, then white can capture, and this move is not going to be center. So this is, might be one way of playing for black. And the other way of playing is not to connect, but to play here, because there is a weakness in white's shape. If black plays something like this, and later white plays Tanuki, there is some kind of Tesuji for black, but this Tesuji doesn't work now because white is able to play here on the first line and it's not possible for black to really do anything. However, if black has a stone in this spot, now it can work quite well. Now it's not so easy for white to play here because black is able to make their disco. And if white plays anything else, for example cuts this way, then black is already able to cut. And now there are some problems with white shape, right? If coming back to the game, this was what, what happened. And now black played some exchanges and later black took some points. So white played this exchange in center. Then it looks like another center, but black decided to play somewhere else first. Played end game, actually. It's yeah, not so small end game to aim to kill these stones. White, however, decided to play elsewhere, decided to, to fight. It's actually, anyway, I think similar result. This group quite big. But this is also quite big. There are also later some possible weaknesses. It might be possible for white to play like this and destroy a little bit more black shape. So this is like also a weakness good to have in mind while deciding where to play now for white, whether capturing these two stones or connecting here because later white might be able to play this nice move to try to destroy black shape even a little bit more. So white played this one. And black played this exchange, I think it was just a misread, not possible for black to continue, like this white will just cut, after this move white can simply connect, so black is not able to connect on stones, instead I would recommend just to play something like this, if white answers ok, black got several points, if black didn't play there, white might be able to play even here, and after this one, it might be possible for white to kill black, so it's not so small actually, just to play and, and tanuki, yeah, but this exchange, it was just good for white. Then black captured these stones, but it was not really center. White is able to play this exchange in center, but in the game black didn't play there, but normally it is going to be considered in center, so white is not able to destroy black's base anymore. However, white's group is alive. So capturing these stones here on the top is, in my opinion, some kind of gote anyway. Okay, but in the game black played here. This move is generally to protect this weakness because now if white plays there, black is able to resist. However, white now is able to destroy black's base on the top. So white played these moves on the top, now black doesn't have points, white has a few there. Now black also had to play somewhere in the center to make sure this group is alive. So white captured these two stones and we get some end game. It's already some kind of end game. There was not much happening in the next moves. Generally, white is 
a little bit ahead and white kept this advantage till the end. It's about a commie difference. Even game without commie, but yeah, white gets this commie extra, so white is winning by around this uh, this value. Yeah, so later we've got some extra moves. It was just a normal end game. Not much happened at, for white like to keep this advantage. So yeah, this was the the end game, and black resigned. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed.